Affairs and Farmers Market Committee is now in session. It is Tuesday, June 19th, 2018, 5 p.m., give or take a minute or two. I detect a quorum. We have one bill on second reading to review tonight, 2018-1204, Council Lady Allen, Councilman Sledge, and others. An ordinance to require the Metro Department of Codes Administration to publish an ongoing compilation of, one, the number and type of demolition permits issued for residential property during the preceding calendar quarter, and two, the number and type of residential building permits issued for residential property during the preceding calendar quarter, and three, the number and type of residential occupancy permits, i.e. certificates of occupancy, issued for residential property during the preceding calendar quarter by the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Thank you. Um, this is basically a housing scorecard that is something that's been asked for by the housing advocacy community for a number of years. We um, earlier passed a resolution that asked the Mayor's Office of Housing to come up with an annual report that sort of gave us the, the state of affordable housing in, in Nashville. And this was a request um, to come up with a way to sort of keep up with it in a more um, frequent update type of fashion. So this is information that is already on the Open Government website already. Um, I do have an amendment that I would like to offer that simply acknowledges that, that codes already makes this available um, and and that um, we're, I'm not even asking them to compile it. I'm just asking them to have it available so that it can be compiled. The housing advocacy community has said they're willing to do the number crunching. They just want to make sure that the numbers are already there. And what they're looking at is once a year, the Office of Housing, working with MDHA, can come up with sort of the here's the state of how much housing we have that, that functions for people in these income niches, you know, certain percentage of AMI that we talk about when we talk about affordable housing. And then from that, on at least a quarterly basis, we can say, well, we've demolished this many houses that cost this much money, and we've built or gotten a building permit to begin these, and we've... Uh, gotten these through the UNO permits, these have actually been occupied. So it theoretically would help give us a way to sort of keep track, are we making progress towards not getting that number of 31,000 affordable units that we need by 2025. So the amendment simply again acknowledges um, that COATS is already compiling this information and that um, I'm not asking them to produce any new reports. So I would move the amendment and then ask for your support as amended. Questions? What say codes? Codes say, please don't make us issue another report, which is why I have uh, <laughs> I have offered this amendment. Um, I talked to them when I started the process, and they now have a new chair, a uh, new director who weighed in with that one request. So I have sent this um, amendment to him, and he said, yes, that makes me feel comfortable. So they are, they're, they're good with keeping the information that's already out there on the OpenGov website out there. So I'm just formalizing that. So, yeah, to clarify, there is an amendment to this, and I apologize. It, 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 I just forgot to read it. Um, but basically, if I'm reading this correctly, this is just making it known that this information is available to the housing advocacy groups out there that want to retrieve it. Yes? Correct. And, and it will also codify that it will it will always be on the OpenGov website, which I suspect it would anyway. But as, so, as a promise to the housing advocates, I'm just saying Metro, the... Our database already provides all this information, and we will continue to provide it. So they don't have to compile it in any fashion. The way it is on the website now, they can, you say they crunch the numbers. They yeah, can you can just download the, the the database that's there, and it's got date that the permits were were issued, and what the value of the property is that's being built, and and whether I think those two things together are really all the information that, and the, you know the type of permit that it is, whether it's a building permit and whether it's multifamily or single family, that, that type of information. Yeah, that's, what, that's pretty okay. much what the amendment says. Yeah. Any other questions? Move the amendment. Exactly. Second. All in favor of moving the amendment? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Amendment passes. Do I have a motion to move 20 or 1204 as amended? So Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Excellent passes unanimously, and with that, Coast Fairs Farmers Market Committee meeting for Tuesday, June 19th is adjourned. Thank you.